so the topic four which is about stoichiometry and the subtopic today we'll discuss the mole concept what is a mole number and what is the concept of the mole example if i write this equation that carbon is reacting with oxygen and it gives carbon dioxide so this is the equation a chemical equation is given so what is the mole number the mole number is a coefficient which is written next to element or compound so what number is written with carbon because if nothing is written it means it is one so what is the mole number of carbon that is one what about the mole number of oxygen the number which is written before the element or the compound the coefficient of element or compound is called a mole number so if nothing is written it means there is one so what is the mole number of oxygen the mole number of oxygen is one and what about the mole number of carbon dioxide what is written next to car before carbon dioxide if nothing is written it means there is one so how many moles are there according to the equation we'll have the moles of carbon dioxide that is equals to one so basically the mole or the mole number represented by the coefficient next to the element or compound another example if i say h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o so this is the equation written 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o so what is the mole number or how many moles of hydrogen are there what is the number of moles or how many moles of hydrogen are there so how we can identify the number which is written before the element or compound that is called a mole number so which number is written before hydrogen two is written so how many moles of hydrogen are there in this example there are two moles of hydrogen how many moles of oxygen are there so if nothing is written it means what is there one is there so how many moles of oxygen one and how many moles of water are there h2o is the formula so number before that is called a mole number so how many moles of water are there there are two moles of water so in the second equation there are two moles of hydrogen one mole of oxygen and one mole of uh, two moles of water molecules are there so basically the number of the molecules or number of atoms involved in the chemical reaction is also known as the mole number so simple definition of a mole number it is a number of atoms or molecules which are involved in the chemical reaction is it clear the idea of the mole number so another example if i say we have equation uh, calcium oxide is reacting with hydrochloric acid it gives calcium chloride plus water so if i say how many moles of calcium oxide are there in this example how many moles of calcium oxide are used here so the number which is written because nothing is written it means one so it means we have one mole of calcium oxide then how many moles of hcl are there Hydro hydrochloric acid in this example so the number of the molecule or atom here which are used in chemical equation 
also known as a mole number so two moles of hcl then how many moles of calcium chloride are used in the equation So if nothing is written, it means one is there. So total number of moles of calcium chloride according to equation that's one. And how many moles of water are there? Number of moles of H two O. That's also one. So this is the mole number. so the number of atoms or molecules involved in a chemical reaction is also known as the mole number now if we want to find the mole when we are finding moles there are two ways to find moles number one you can use the ratio and number two you can use a formula because there are formulas to calculate the moles as well so there are two ways to calculate moles number one is by ratio either you can use a ratio or you can use a formula now how we will use ratio to find moles so it's same in mathematics as you used to work out the ratio and proportion like example if this was the equation h2 2h2 plus o2 gives uh, 2h2 and the question was find moles of oxygen reacted with Five moles of hydrogen. So that is the question. We have to find moles of oxygen that are reacting with five moles of hydrogen. So you will make two columns on the left hand side. what is given to you and the what uh, on the right hand side what is required i am writing in short req it means required so what is given to us if you read the question they mention fi find moles of oxygen so we have to find the moles of oxygen so oxygen is required and what is given to us five moles of hydrogen are given so given to us is hydrogen so according to the column when you make two columns one left hand side what is given to you and the right hand side what is required so given to us hydrogen moles are given and required oxygen now we will use this equation according to equation how many moles of oxygen are how many moles of hydrogen are there according to equation so according to equation there are two moles of hydrogen and according to equation how many moles of oxygen are there one so the ratio between hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1 it means like if we have two moles of hydrogen we should have one mole of oxygen according to equation but in the question we have five moles of hydrogen and how many moles of oxygen are there x we don't know is it clear till now this point then i'll solve the last part but first thing you should be able to identify according to question hydrogen is given and oxygen is required and when we check like two moles of hydrogen are reacting with one mole of oxygen so ratio between hydrogen and oxygen is 2 is to 1 so if 2 is to 1 is the ratio but in the question we have five moles so if we have five moles how many moles of oxygen should be there x and now cross multiply because in a ratio how we solve we cross multiply so this 2 is multiplied with x and 5 is multiplied with 
So when two multiplied by x, it will be equal to two x, and five multiplied by one, that's equal to five. So if we want x, so x will be equal to five divided by two, which is equals to two point five moles. So how many moles of oxygen will be there if we have five moles of hydrogen? So it will be two point five moles of oxygen. Is it clear this example? How we use the ratio? I'll give another example, but in this one, how we use the ratio to find the moles. There's another example. So whenever you are using a ratio, equation will be given. So you have to use that equation to work out the ratio. Look, the equation is given that two moles of hydrogen reacted with one mole of oxygen, and it is giving two water molecules. The question was find moles of oxygen needed to react with five moles of hydrogen. So according to equation, if we have two moles of hydrogen, when you make two columns, you have hydrogen and oxygen. According to equation, when you see the equation, if there are two moles of hydrogen, how many moles of oxygen should be there? One. So ratio between them is two is two, one. But in the question, you have five moles of hydrogen. So if we have five moles of hydrogen, how many moles of oxygen will be there? X. And then how to solve the ratios? You just cross multiply. So this two is multiplied with X and five is multiplied with one. So it will be two X is equals to five and two is multiplied with X. So other side, it will be divided. So it will be five divided by two. So how many moles, what will be the value of X? So the value of X will be 2.5. So simple ratio we can use to work out the moles of unknown substance from the given one. Is it clear, Abdullah Surpras? Another example, N2 plus 3H2 gives 2NH3. And the question is find moles of NH3 or ammonia produced by 7 moles of hydrogen. So what we do, we'll make two columns and on the left hand side, what is given to us and on the right hand side, what we are finding or what is required. What is given to us in this question, which substance is given? This is a question and this is the equation which is given. Which substance is given according to the question? Find moles of NH3 produced by seven moles of hydrogen. So which substance is given to us? So hydrogen is given or H2 is given. Yeah, seven moles of hydrogen. So hydrogen is seven and NH3 we are finding. Even you can write like seven moles are given and we are finding, so it is X. You can write like this. Then what is the ratio between hydrogen and NH3? How many, according to equation, how many moles of hydrogen should be there? Three. And how many moles of NH3 will be there? Should be there? Two. So again, we cross multiply. 
So seven will be multiplied by two. When seven is multiplied by two, that's fourteen. Equal to three is multiplied by x. So if anything multiplied by x, it will be three x. And if three is multiplied other side, it will divide. So it will be fourteen divided by three is equals to x. And fourteen divided by three, that's equal to four point six six moles. So what is the value of x here? The value of x will be equal to four point six six. Is it clear? This example, finding the moles by using the ratio. Anyone having a doubt in this example? Another, if we have uh, say calcium carbonate decomposed to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide, so find moles of calcium carbonate which produce 3.5 moles of carbon dioxide so we have to find the moles of calcium carbonate which produce 3.5 moles of carbon dioxide so given and required what is given to us which substance is given in this example carbon dioxide is given and how many moles are there 3.5 in the question we need moles of calcium carbonate find the moles of calcium carbonate which produce 3.5 moles of carbon dioxide so according to equation if we have one mole of calcium carbonate it will produce one mole of carbon dioxide so we need moles of calcium carbonate so cacl3 is needed and moles of carbon dioxide are given so calcium carbonate is unknown x and carbon dioxide is 3.5 but according to equation when you check the equation according to equation if there is one mole of calcium carbonate it will produce one mole of carbon dioxide so ratio between carbon dioxide and calcium carbonate is 1 is to 1 so just cross multiply so when you cross multiply 1 multiplied by x is x and 3.5 multiplied by 1 so that is also 3.5 so what it shows as as it is clear as you can see from the equation if we have one mole of calcium carbonate it will produce one mole of carbon dioxide so if we have 3.5 moles of carbon dioxide how many moles of calcium carbonate will be there the same number of moles of calcium carbonate will be there so equation is always given for the simplest ratio and we we use the ratio according to the values given to us is it clear yes abdullah you have any doubt heather yeah the answer is 3.5 heather abdullah khan any doubt so this example i want everyone to solve and state your answer in a chat so the equation is h2 plus o2 gives
H2O2. This is a compound known as hydrogen peroxide. And the question is find moles of H2O2 produced by uh, 5.5 moles of hydrogen. So we have to find the moles of H2O2 which are produced by 5 moles of hydrogen. So we'll use the ratio given and required. Solve this and state your answer in a chat. The mole number is a number which is written before the element or compound in the equation. Yeah, H2 is given and H2O2 is required because we want to find 5.5 moles of H2. We have 5.5 moles of H2 and we want to find the moles of H2O2. So this will be 5.5. Yeah, that's true. 5.5 and hydrogen peroxide is unknown. But when you check the equation, the simplest ratio, if we have one molecule of hydrogen, we should have, or we, if we have one mole of hydrogen, we should have one mole of hydrogen peroxide. So ratio is one is to one. So if you have 5.5, then how much should be there X and how to solve cross multiply. So one multiplied by X, that is X and one multiplied by 5.5. So it will be 5.5. Is it clear this example? To everyone. Another example. The equation is Fe2O3 plus 3CO gives 2Fe plus PCO2. That's the equation. The first part find moles of CO reacted with five moles of Fe. That's the first part. Find moles of CO reacted with five moles of Fe. So how to solve this question? What is given to us? And what is required? What is given in the first part? So CO is given or Fe is given. We have to find moles of CO, which reacted with five moles of Fe. So iron or Fe is given and CO is required. Now, when you check how many moles are given, five moles are given and how many moles of CO are there or carbon monoxide that is X, we don't know. But when you check the equation, according to equation, what is the simplest ratio between or this should be Fe2O3 because in the equation I use Fe2O3. So five moles of Fe2O3 are there. So the simplest ratio between Fe2O3 and carbon monoxide, that is 1 is to 3. So 5 is to x because we have 5 moles of Fe2O3 and we need moles of carbon monoxide, so 5 is to x. And according to equation, 
if we have one mole of fe2o3 we should get three moles of carbon monoxide so simplest ratio is 1 is to 3 now cross multiply if one is multiplied by x that is equals to x and 3 is multiplied by 5 so 3 multiplied by 5 what we will get we will get 15 moles of co is it clear the first part because the ratio of the moles is 1 is to 5 one mole of iron oxide iron 3 oxide react with three moles of carbon monoxide and in the question we have five moles of carbon uh, iron 2 oxide iron 3 oxide so we'll get x moles of carbon monoxide so cross multiply 3 multiplied by 5 that's 15 and 1 multiplied by x that is x so it will be x into 1 is equals to 3 into 5 so when we simplify x will come out as 15. Now the second part, normally when the, the parts are interrelated, if they say find moles of Fe produced, so that's a, only a simple part, but the parts are interrelated, they're asking find moles of Fe produced. So actually, this second part is related to the first part. So in the first part, how many moles of Fe2O3 were given? Five moles were given. So we have to use the same five moles, like we have Fe2O3 and Fe. What is the ratio in terms of equation? If one mole of Fe2O3 is there, then how many moles of Fe should be there too? But in the question, if we have five moles, then how many moles should be there? X. So whenever you're solving the parts in the moles, these parts are interrelated. So even in part B, nothing, they're asking for the moles of Fe and they did not give anything. So if they did not provide you any information, it means you have to use information from the previous part. So in the previous part, the given was iron, oxide so you are using that iron oxide to get the moles of iron so if the five moles of iron oxide were there x moles of iron and according to equation one is to two is the ratio so we cross multiply five will be multiplied with two that's make 10 and one will be multiplied by x so it will be x so how many moles of iron will be produced it will produce 10 moles of iron is it clear the second part? So even though in the second part, they did not provide you inform complete information, but you have to use information from the first part that what is given in the first part, you have to use that to solve the other part. So example, the second part is just find the moles of Fe produce and nothing is given and when you are solving the moles you use the ratio of between the given and the required so we have to find moles of fe so fe is required but what is given in part b nothing is given but for that you have to check part a so what was given in part a in part a they give five moles of fe2 or three so you have to use the same values here that the given was Fe2 and O3. So if 5 moles of Fe2, O3, then X moles of Fe will be there. And according to equation, when you check the equation, if 1 mole of Fe2, O3, how many moles of Fe will be there or iron will be there? That's 2. So the ratio is 1 is to 2. And when you cross multiply, 5 will be multiplied by 2, that's make 10. And 1 will be multiplied by x, so that is x. So the total number of moles will be 10. Is it clear?
so in the moles question the parts are always interrelated i'll give another example you have equation h2 plus cl2 gives 2hcl and the first part of the question find moles of cl2 reacted with 7 moles of h2 so we want to find the moles of cl2 from 7 moles of h2 what is given and what is required yeah what is given to us in this example seven moles of h2 so hydrogen is given to us and what is required we need cl2 and according to question seven moles of h2 are given and we required x moles of chlorine So uh, this is according to the question, but according to equation, if we have one mole of hydrogen that will react with one mole of a chlorine. So the ratio between them is one is to one. So you cross multiply seven will be multiplied by one. That's seven and one is multiplied by X. So that is X. So what is the answer? You will get the seven moles of chlorine. That is the first part. In the second part, if you have to find the moles of HCl produced. So in the second part, you need the moles of HCl produced and the information is not complete. They did not mention from which substance So required is HCl, but what is given to us? So again, we have to check the first part. What was given to us? Given to us was seven moles of H2. So if seven moles of H2 were given, how many moles of HCl will be there? X. And according to equation, if there is one mole of H2, how many moles of HCl should be there? Two. So the ratio is one is two, two. But we have seven moles. How many moles of HCl should be there? X. We cross multiply. So seven is multiplied by two. That's 14. So one is multiplied by X and seven multiplied by two. So how many moles of HCl we'll get? We'll get 14 moles of HCl because the ratio is one is to two. If one mole is reacting with two moles. So if there are seven moles or if one mole is producing two moles, so if we have seven moles, it will produce 14 moles of the product. Is it clear this example? The second example. To everyone. So whenever a question is given related to moles, there are two ways to solve this. The first method is by using a ratio so we did if ratio if you want to solve the question related to ratio we'll use the equation and we'll get the final result the second way of finding the moles is by formula so you can find moles by using the ratio or you can use the formula to find the moles and there are three formulas which you have to learn or memorize. D 
these are the three formulas of the moles which you have to learn or memorize number one the number of the moles equal mass in gram divided by molar mass or molecular mass how to use the formula that we discussed that we will discuss but first thing you have to memorize the second formula if you need moles that is concentration multiplied by volume and the third formula for moles is a volume divided by 24 so these are the three formulas number 1 2 and 3 and how you will learn you can learn from this triangle as well where n is representing the mole so if i need the moles that is equals to mass in gram divided by molar mass molar mass means atomic mass or molecular mass if i need moles it can be concentration into volume and if i need moles it is volume divided by 24 how to use these formulas i will discuss each formula and give example for each formula so you have to learn and memorize these so you have to learn and memorize these formulas i will share another link and continue this discussion how to use and memorize these formulas